Hey, what's up guys? Growing the Hobby coming back to you guys with another baseball break. A short one, but hopefully a sweet retail break today. For the first time on the channel this year, we're going to do a, a mega retail mega box of a 2021 Panini Prism Baseball. That's right, we're going to get into this. This comes in at a price point of about $50, uh, so not as cheap as it used to be. With the prices of everything just going up across the board now, not just... From the flippers and the scalpers, retail prices are just going up. These used to be, you know, forty dollars normally, so we saw a ten dollar increase so far on these. Background cards, by the way, guys, first time I think featured on this channel. A couple loose pickups recently for me. The left side, a nice raw 1968 Roger Maris in the uh, Cardinals uniform, which is kind of rare to see. And then on the right side, the uh, ALNL Homer Kings card of Roger Maris Orlando Cepeda from 1962, right after he clobbered all those home runs the year prior there so uh hopefully roger maris gonna bring us some nice home run love here today and we hit a home run with this product you guys know prism check the uh the info there but uh panini does not give you guys odds they just kind of tell you the cards that you can get so that's what that was all about on the back you get a one uh yeah one 12 card bonus pack is going to be in here which you're going to look for carolina blue prism and pink Prism Parallels, which are going to be these right here. These blue and pinks right there. Uh, 52 cards per box. Decent amount of cards. Four cards per pack, so 10 packs uh, per box, plus that bonus pack. So, decent amount of cards. The other thing I will point out to you on here, guys, uh, this 250 card set, so they do this year, they're going to do 100 base, then Tier 2, and 50 Tier 3 cards. So, basically, the first 100 are the least rare um, they won't say tier or anything like that. Then cards uh, 101 through 200 are going to have a tier 2 stamp with them. And 201 to 250 will be tier 3 and the most rare cards. That being said, as we open this up, you guys know that Panini does not have MLB licensing. So we are not going to be finding any of the logos or anything like that from your favorite teams or players and stuff. Which is one of the big things that uh, you know they don't sell quite as well because they don't have that licensing and stuff like that but they do put out beautiful cards i will give them that um and here's our stack of packs as you guys can see there's our 12 card bonus pack nothing probably going to be crazy in there and then here's our other 10 regular packs that's what we're looking at right there all rise for the judge on the cover and let's get boston a little fruit fly going by here and actually, I think we're guaranteed an auto in here, perhaps, in the Mega Boxes. I can't remember. Um, maybe not. They're not advertising. I actually... Oh, wait. There it is. Okay. So I should point that out. One auto per box on average. Did want to mention that. This is the first uh, Mega Box I've opened on this channel this year. I opened one off camera, and I got an auto, and uh, I did realize that, uh, yeah, it is one per box. Gonna be a sticker auto, but hopefully a big name. Jonathan India rookie card starts us right off the bat, and I'll show you guys the backs of these cards here. So you can see that's card number 26, so it doesn't have any other stamp with it because that's gonna be the tier one or basic set. Mike Trout, it's always good to pull a trout, and let's check the back of that card before we get to that Randy behind it. So there you go. Trout is uh, card number 173, which is a tier two, as you guys can see right above his nameplate there. So a little bit more rare to get those. Then we got an illumination subset here of Randy Rosarina. And then we got a silver on the back of Brandon Woodruff, which is terribly, terribly off center left to right, if you guys can see that right there. Um, but yeah, and that is uh, also a tier one, if you're wondering there. Probably not going to flip over every single card, but I did want to show you guys the, uh, the tier ones, tier twos, and all that stuff like that this year. So Jesus Lizard is up first here, Jeff Bagwell. Uh, Jemai Jones, let's just check that out for the heck of it, because that's going to be one of his first rookie cards, and that's a Tier 2 on that one. Then we get this championship stage, Belly Bombs, Cody Bellinger, um, and that is a basic subset, no prism or anything like that. All right. And pack number three starts us with Kyle Hendricks, Bryce Harper, Yachty Molina and a subset, Lumber Incorporated, Jose Abreu. That is not a prism or numbered or anything like that. Hopefully we get at least one numbered card in here as well. I'm hoping. All right, Trevor Larnick, rookie, starts us off. Frankie Thomas, Chris Paddock. And then we got a green 
non-numbered green of uh, Jemai Jones again. But uh, you guys can see that'll be tier two, as it says in the prism up on top there. But that is not numbered, like I said, guys, because those greens are just kind of basic, kind of parallel there. Another Jose Abreu on the back. We're hitting a lot of the same players in this break. All right, Pavin Smith, rookie. Uh, Luis Alexander Basabi. Mm, fearless Nate Pearson, rookie, right there for Toronto. And then stargazing for Jose Abreu there. So, again, neat cards. Unfortunately, nothing numbered there or anything like that. Not anything terribly expensive. But and if I see the uh, auto coming up, I'll try to maybe save that for the end. Jorge Guzman, rookie, and I think this is actually, this is definitely our auto pack here. we got a backwards card. Set that down right there. We'll come back to that. Hopefully it's a big name or a nice numbered card at least. Uh, Edward uh, Kalina starts us off. I thought he was stuck to somebody there. Jeff McNeil. Sandy Koufax, that's a nice one for the PC. I love Sandy Koufax. It's probably a tier three on that, actually. I'm going to show you guys that before the... Yeah, it is a tier three. I like that one a lot. And then we got a silver prism, that is, of uh, Polly Goldschmidt Fireworks. Um, and you can tell from that ultra shine. And when in doubt, you look right there below the logo and it says prism. So, all right. All right, down to three packs, plus that bonus pack we still have set in there. Let's get something nice. Let's get a numbered card. Anderson Tejada, rookie starts us. Rafi Devers, Yu Darvish, and Emergent Nolan Jones. Another green in here, it looks like. So Tristan McKenzie, rookie. Glaber Day, Ralph Kiner, old school. That's a little subset there. We'll flip that around to show Jim Tome, green parallel. And uh, that's actually a basic one, believe it or not, card number 96. So it's not even a Tier 2 or Tier 3 card, surprisingly. All right, last kind of basic pack. Looks like we'll have Manny Machado here on the back. All right, Ian Anderson, rookie. Carlos Correa. Ricky Henderson and Sluggers, Manny Machado. All right, let's eh, just for, eh, you know what, I'm going to set those up there. We'll do the bonus pack first. Because we know what we're going to get in here. We're not going to get any autos or anything like that. And I don't even think there's a chance of a numbered hit. I think they're all just going to be what players you're actually pulling. And that kind of Carolina blue and pink. So there's a nice one right there. Luis Garcia right off the bat. Isaiah Kiner falefa Reese Hoskins. Hey, Willie Stardle. That's a nice one for the PC hit there. Alex Bregman. Uh, Wyatt Matheson. Cattell Marte. Yerman Mercedes. That's a pretty good one right there. Donis Medina, uh, Keegan Aiken, Timmy Anderson, and last but not least, Aristides Aquino. So, nothing too, too crazy. A couple decent rookies there. Let's see what we have, though, for our auto. Uh, I'm going to pull from the back. So, we got a rookie class, Ian Anderson, there on the back. I guess I could pull that in a little bit better for you. And pull the card below. There we go. Nice Fernando Tatis Jr. Trying to keep that glare down to show you guys that. And then, let's see, I think I have a decoy, kind of handy here. I'm going to grab a decoy, and I'm going to flip this around. And let's see what our autographed hit is. Oh, interesting. Debut signatures. So it is obviously a rookie. Looks like a pitcher. And there you go. It's Edward Kalina for Minnesota, obviously, as it says. Can't say the Twins or anything like that. Can't show the logos, but Minnesota right there. Edward Kalina. Nice sticker auto. If you want to see that up close, that's what you're looking at right there. Debut signatures. Um, like I said, nothing really crazy there. Not even one numbered hit in this box, believe it or not. So that's a little bit disappointing. Um, I'm actually a little bit surprised by that. I've opened a couple of these on my own off camera. And, uh, you know, I mean, I got the auto and stuff, obviously. But I got at least a numbered hit in each box. So a little interesting that we didn't get a numbered hit this time. All right, guys, please do me a favor, like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys, as always, in the description below. You guys can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. Other than that, have a great day, a great night, wherever you all are at, and we will see you next time.